up everyone, a young Sayo PMS Black Queen here with a K-drama review for you and today I am reviewing a Cheer Up episode number two is what we're on right now. You can watch Cheer Up on the following. You can watch it on Drama Fever, on Vicky, and I think on Hulu Plus as well. I will leave all the information down below about a, um, a link where you can watch this drama. Also a brief synopsis. All right, so we're on episode two. Let's get started. I have my notes with me as usual, so let's go ahead and get into this. Now, we left off with Yondu. She goes back into school, and she told the Beko team that she's going to be joining them. And they told her, no, you can't join us because you're not in the top 5% class. And she pulls out the rules and says, there's no such thing in this rule book that says that. I will be joining you. So she really doesn't back down. The teacher comes in, drags her out by her ear down the hallway and into the office. Her mom is in the office and her mother starts going off. I mean, she goes ham sandwich on everybody, on the teachers, principals, everybody about the way, how they're treating her daughter. And she's threatening to have her daughter transfer out of that school if they don't get their act together and treat her daughter right. But the daughter says, um, Yondu says, I'm not going to transfer, Mom. I'm not transferring out of here. So she wants to stick around and try to fight and get her uh, club back. So after that, she goes back into the classroom and she begins, she begins to study into the Beko classroom um, as usual. And she keeps on getting punished. She continues to get punished, um, but she doesn't back down. She doesn't give up. Her friends help her also, and, you know, they kind of help her and make her chores fun because she has to, like, clean things and water the garden and things like that. And I think that Kim Yol, who is the leader of the Beko team, he kind of likes her a little bit. You can tell there's going to be some chemistry going, there's some chemistry going on between those two because they almost kissed, not once, but then again twice because when she was watering the garden, they had like a water fight um, uh, with her team and she kind of slipped and fell and fell on him yet again. So they kind of got close face to face sort of like they were about to kiss, but they did not. So there's some there's something going on there. I hope those two kind of get together because I think they are very, very cute. Um, so after that, next scene we come on is Young Du sees Su Ah in the um, in a room and she hands Soon Ah a broom and a mop and tells her to clean. And yeah, she cleans all right. She puts some of Yondu's personal possessions in the washing machine, like her trophy and a picture. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, Soon Ah's mother hires a consultant, we find out, to help her get into um, Harvard. And But like her resume is lacking any real experience. She has the academics, but she doesn't have the realness. They asked her a question like during the interview, like, what have you done to help your friends? Or what have you done in the community? And she really couldn't answer that. So her resume was lacking. She didn't get in. So she, her mother really wants her to get into Harvard, like really, really bad. So if she wins this competition, which is a cheerleading competition, of course, maybe that will help her get some realness and get some people skills into her resume and she could go ahead and get into Harvard because she has the academics, like I said, she doesn't have the realness uh, as of yet. So after that, the principal says that the Beckho team and the real Kings will compete in a cheerleading competition. All right. So, and everyone, of course, on the real Kings, they agreed to go ahead and, um, do the competition. There's a dance competition that happens that the Real Kings are in and they go to that as well and they start competing and of course they win. Um, and unfortunately, um, Young Do twists her ankle. They still win but she does twist her ankle, all right? We'll get back to that in one second. Um, Dang J finds his roommate, um, Ha Jun, in the bathtub. Poor kid, he has slit his wrist. He tried to commit suicide. He tried to kill himself. And this isn't the first time that he's tried to do this, we find out. Um, Kim Yol comes in and he saves him, drags him out of, the, out of there, takes him to the uh, hospital 
to, you know, to get him all checked out and everything like that. Poor Dang Jay, he was so shocked. He just couldn't do anything. He just stood there, shocked, crying. It was, it was really, really sad seeing you guys. It's, it's really, really awful to have that much pressure on you as a kid and you try to kill yourself. That's just awful. Um, so at the hospital, we find out that, again, like I mentioned before, this is not the first time this poor kid tried to kill himself because we kind of flashback. He's done this once before. Um, Young Du sees um, them at the hospital when she's going there to get her leg, um, her, her leg um, fixed. And they also see uh, the teacher. The teacher's there paying his bill. And a woman, probably the mother of um, Ha Jun, comes in and she's calling for him. And of course, you know, the teacher recognizes the name because that's one of his students. And the teacher has a confrontation with him and says that, you know, he wants to call his parents. But he was crying and begging, please don't call my parents. If you call my parents and tell them that I tried to do this, they're going to send me to a mental hospital. So he, he's really broken down by that. Poor, poor kid. I feel so bad for him. So the teacher, like I said, he talks to him about what happens. After that, we find out also that Young Du is betrayed once again by two of her friends. At the dance competition, two of her friends said that they're not going to join. Um, they're not going to be on the team anymore, on the squad. So she was betrayed by them. She sees them talking to members of Beck Ho about cheerleading and being on their team. So she got betrayed once again. Poor thing. And also, last scene is this. Kim Yo asks um, Young Du to cheer, to cheer with him, you know, on the cheerleading squad so they can be partners and whatnot. And, of course, she rejects him. All right, guys, that's where that ends. That is episode two. That is a wrap for Cheer Up. Again, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to leave a detailed version with screenshots and everything on my blog. I'm kind of revamping my blog. My blog is going to be called kdramaparadise.com. Kdramaparadise. I'll leave a link down below. Right now, there's nothing on it, but... I'm going to get that established, and I'm going to start getting some things on there. So hopefully episodes one and two, I'll get that on there by the time you guys watch this video. That will be posted and up so you can see a more detailed explanation of everything. Because I'm giving you the short version in this video because I don't want it to be too long. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Do all three. They're free for crying out loud. And I will talk to you guys next time. Kamsamida, and have a fantastic day. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please click the link to watch my latest video.